dear friends we have to thank one of the greatest son of india our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji he announced on august 15 2018 the human space flight program he announced he declared four he announced four cosmonauts four gaganyatris including sukraj ji to the country and he only vision that we should send one of the gaganyatri to space international space station you all will be proud that subhasnu sukla is safely sent to space and brought back safely today but today under modi ji's direction modi ji's leadership when chandrayaan 3 successfully soft landed near south pole of moon and india became the only country which successfully soft landed near south pole moon isro has got a great role in this successful mission number 1 based on the direction of prime minister we have executed the job isro team has executed the job two of the colleagues are sitting in front of you who are responsible for executing the job i salute india i salute indian education system i salute isro for the knowledge what we are having even to hold a leaking rocket to ensure the safety of our own citizen and ensure a safe flight good evening to all the most respectable chief minister of uttar pradesh deputy chief ministers cabinet ministers mlas my colleague subhash nusukla and his family members mr d k singh who is the director of the human space flight center he is also from up <laughs> the controller of the human space flight center is with us and distinguished guests and my dear students very very good evening to all of you <laughs> first of all let me express our gratitude from the bottom of our heart to the honorable chief minister of up for arranging such a wonderful felicitation function <laughs> even though i am from kanyakumari we always look at up how the up cm is governing and taking the up to greater and greater heights and thereby the country is growing the day he took over as the cm onwards most of the time i look at the news how what is happening in up and the way he lead the up and taking the country to greater heights i think we have to thank and appreciate him and this is yet another occasion to see his gesture now dear dear friends we have to thank one of the greatest son of india our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji he announced on august 15 2018 the human space flight program he announced and we were given a direction to take indian to space by our own rocket and when you talk about human space flight program lot of developments has to take place the human rated rocket environmental control and safety system crew escape system parachute system lot of things has to be done one of the important thing is interfacing human being with the hardware and software and i have to once again thank honorable prime minister on 20, in 23 he declared four he announced four cosmonauts four gaganyatris including sukraj ji to the country and he only vision that we should send one of the gaganyatri to space international space station it is under his vision this activity was executed by isro and you all will be proud that subhasnu sukla is safely sent to space and brought back safely today we are all very proud we the entire country is very proud and you know there was a time in cricket match we won and the entire country used to get united but today under modi ji's direction modi ji's leadership when chandrayaan 3 successfully soft landed near south pole of moon and india became the only country which successfully soft landed near south pole moon 
entire country got united today subhash nusukla has gone to space and he has come back safely and the entire country is again united under the leadership of honorable prime minister of india narendra modi ji now dear friends isro has got a great role in this successful mission number one based on the direction of prime minister we have executed the job isro team has executed the job two of the colleagues are sitting in front of you who are responsible for executing the job and very important point i want to communicate the mission was done on 25th june originally it was supposed to be done on 11th june and 10th june early morning when i got up from the bed early morning 2:45 i am seeing a news item the rocket is having a small oxygen leakage and the moment the oxygen leakage is there i am working in the field as a cryogenic propulsion expert for 41 years i know the rocket cannot fly we demanded a meeting had a discussion convinced the us team in fact us team even with that leak the launch campaign was going on on 10th evening subhash nu is asked to sleep evening 4 o'clock 4 to early morning 12 o'clock he supposed to sleep and he was happily sleeping i was under terrible tension <laughs> and it was evening 5:15 we gave a letter and called off the launch and they were disturbed we are 6000 people from throughout the world have landed for the launch based on the indian government letter the launch is called off when they went and inspected the rocket next day early morning there was a crack in the main line and the entire thing based on our insistence it was corrected and 25th successfully the rocket lifted off without that correction <laughs> without that correction it would have been a catastrophic failure and thereby i salute india i salute indian education system i salute isro for the knowledge what we are having even to hold a leaking rocket <laughs> to ensure the safety of our own citizen and ensure a safe flight now yes he has gone and come back he has done outstanding job and on this occasion it is my responsibility as the chairman isro to congratulate all four gaganyatris any anyway, only one person has to fly and he got the great opportunity to fly so let me congratulate subhash nu sukla for that great accomplishment what is done along with that let me also congratulate my three of my remaining colleagues who were responsible who underwent training for that program <laughs> today i don't know how many of you are aware we have ensured our colleague and your son of soil mr subhasnu who has traveled 320 orbits 8.4 million miles he has safely traveled and we were responsible for the safety travel <laughs> and he has done seven experiments and the experiments there were so many scientists who prepared on this occasion let me also congratulate them for that preparation and the experiments were done successfully yesterday morning yesterday morning we have done a important experiment honorable chief minister may be knowing first time the crew module which is supposed to fly later we have successfully taken to 3 km inside the c 40 km and it was dropped using nine parachute safely landed perfectly we have accomplished that success yesterday morning and all the activities are going well actually isro accomplishments are huge one of the accomplishment i want to tell 1963 November 21st USA gave a tiny rocket for us to launch it was donated by USA 50 years back August 1st 1975 2400 television sets were kept in 2400 villages in six states and we got a signal satellite signal from USA and we demonstrated mass communication India was 60 years behind advanced countries last month 30th nasa isro synthetic aperture radar satellite 
NASA has prepared a payload, 10,300 crore they have spent, and we have developed a payload. Entire satellite was built by India and ISRO, and it was launched successfully from Indian soil. It was launched successfully from Indian soil using Indian rocket, and today we are rubbing shoulder to shoulder with developed countries. That is the progress what has happened. In another three months, a 6,500 kg US communication satellite, purely on commercial basis, is going to be launched by Indian rocket from India. That is the type of growth what we have done. After Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji took over as the Prime Minister of this country, we have conceived, built, and launched a satellite, 1,000 kg communication satellite, and donated to South Asian country under his leadership. Till today, 433 satellites of 34 foreign countries and 132 satellites of India is launched. Out of that, 93% satellites were launched during last 10 years, and that is the significant growth of India. And with the direction and guideline of Honorable Prime Minister, we are going to build a space station by 2035. India will have its own space station by 2035, and we are all working towards that. We are going to have a Chandrayaan-4 mission. We are going to land on moon, take sample and bring back and do experiment. And right now, 55 satellites or 58 satellites are in the orbit. Sindhur operation, you all may be knowing the success under Prime Minister's direction and guideline. And I want to tell silently, all our satellites worked fantastically well. And we have ensured safety, security of every citizen of Bharat. We also contributed a little bit in that Sindhur operation. And Prime Minister has given the direction, in another three years, the number of satellites in the orbit will be at least three times of the present numbers of 58 numbers. And we are building a rocket for taking man to moon. By 2040, he has given a direction to take a man to moon and land a Indian on safely on space and bring him back safely. The rocket capability, I want to tell. The first rocket what we built was 35 kg can place in orbit. This rocket will place 80,000 kg in orbit, having 40-story building height. You can imagine. That is the type of direction we have got from Prime Minister, and we are working towards that. Now, dear friends, I think this is not the occasion for me to talk a lot of things about space. But I should say, by 2040, we will be in par with any other spacefaring nation in terms of launcher capability, in terms of satellite, in terms of application, and we will be in par with any other country and work for the Vixit Bharat 2047 and make contribute for making India as a developed country. And I know the growth of UP is outstanding. Let us give you a very big hand to the entire ministers, MLAs, and chief minister for that outstanding growth. And on this occasion, let me congratulate my colleague, Subhasana Sukla, his family members, and also at least 500 plus scientists have full time worked for executing this program as a successful program, including the center director, Mr. D.K. Singh, who is in front of me. Let me only conclude by saying, we are all with you. I had a meeting with Honorable CM. Whatever you want through the space, we are ready to support. Whatever is required for the state, we are ready to support. And lot of things are happening in the UP with respect to space sector. And let me conclude by thanking Honorable CM and the entire cabinet who is here for your gesture of honoring us on this occasion. Thank you, Jai Hind.